I want to share something with you that is revolutionary with what I just discovered a couple of days ago. So I'm going to close my camera and we're just going to jump right into this. So if you go to your OBS and you go to settings, and then from here you go to video, you're going to see here your base canvas resolution. You could be at 4K. I'm at 1920 by 1080p, standard 1080p, because that's what my monitor is. If you're at 4K, you could still do this. If you're at 4K, 8K, 1440p, doesn't matter. Your output scaled resolution, a lot of people will tell you not to play with this, but I've been doing this for years. I used to do what's called 2560 by um, 11 or 1440. 2560 by 1440, sorry, and that was giving me my 1440p, and that would force YouTube to give me the VP09 codec, which is a much, much higher quality codec so that when people view your videos, they're a nicer quality. Now, obviously, other settings within here are going to affect that, but I don't want to get into that in this video because that's not what this video is about. It's just about triggering the VP09 codec. So if you do 2048 by 1152, that is the highest resolution that you could do that's going to remain 16 to 9 aspect ratio that's still going to be 1080p it's not going to be 1440p it's going to render 10,000 times quicker and it's going to be absolutely amazing so i'm going to show you this really quick here so if we go to like rgt85 as an example he's just doing his face he's just sitting there this isn't Call of Duty. You right click on it, you go down the stats for nerds, and you look at his codec. He's using the shitty AV01. Now, honestly, if he were to use a different one for what he does, it probably wouldn't make a difference, but he's on the 1080p here. Now, for me, if you look at my video and you're in the darkness, you're less likely to get all these weird artifacts, pixelations. And all that kind of stuff. It's just going to look much cleaner. Like when I play World of Warcraft, it looks that damn good. That's why I pride myself on my channel for quality. And if we go to right click stats for nerds, you can see that I'm using the VP09. Not only do you see that I'm using the VP09, you also see that I no longer have the 1440p video option like I used to do. So if I go back to one of my older videos, well, that's not really that much older, even one from just literally a couple of days ago, if I were to click on it, I can show you that it used to show the 1440p. And that's the part, see, right there, 1440p. Now, you wouldn't technically be able to tell the difference between me being at 1440p or 1080 because it's fake 1440p right? But the fact that it's going over 1080p is what used to make it that when I would upload a video, okay? When I would go to upload a video and it was processing it, a video about 17, 13, 20 minutes in that neck of the woods, okay? Let me get back on camera. It would basically take like literally over an hour. It was absolutely insane. Now, almost instantaneously, within like five or ten minutes, literally a fraction of the time, what'll end up happening is the video will already be processed. And when I go to check my video, that's not my video, and I go to look at my video, I'll be like, oh, 1080p, it's already been rendered. Now, this is something different, the enhanced bitrate. That, that's like a completely different subject. Um, probably has something to do with the codec as well. It, it just ends up rendering and it just, it works. And it saved me so much time because there's so many instances every single day where I go to record something that's 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes long, or even just five or six minutes long. And the processing takes forever. Uh, and when you watch it at 1080p, it's still on that crappy codec and it's all like pixelated and you got to wait like an extra hour for it to buffer or render or process to the 1440p and above. So that's when I started experimenting with numbers. What's the highest, lowest? I had to look at a chart, everything that was still, um, you know, 1080p, but that would trigger the VP09. And that's when, like I said, I, I did this test on this video. And, and I'm just so, so happy that it worked. Like, I'm just completely blown away. I'm still at only 1080p. Uh, again, stats for nerd, VP09. And when I go full screen, it's it's full screen. It's the proper 16 to 9. 
aspect ratio and I'm looking at it right now, like I said, and I cannot tell the difference between looking at the YouTube video and me actually playing the game like artifacting pixel pic, like it's it's almost like non-existent there might be a subtle hint of it which is why i always joke around and say my videos that i upload are about 95 percent retaining the quality of what you would see if you were literally standing right next to me looking at my screen because you, like i said you could do 1080p you could do 4k and i can have 4k look more blurry than this because there's so many other settings like i said within obs but i don't want to make this video too long five six minutes is about good i had to add that extra emphasis so again just output your video to 2048 by 1152 type it in manually the dropbox isn't going to give you this and behold what i think is a huge difference and it triggers the VPO9 codec. Everything's amazing. And so long as the rest of your settings are also good, you're just going to have literal high-quality content on YouTube. Thumbs up if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and trying to make me more relevant in the search results and people are looking shit up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that'd be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.